Hey everyone, it's Sister Becky and a welcome back to my porch. I took a few months off because I had been really busy doing some projects, but now I'm getting back on track and joining every week with you. We're going to continue our journey where we left off in 100 days of believing bigger. Today, our scripture reading comes from 1 Samuel chapter 15, verses 21 through 22. It says this, the soldiers took sheep and cattle from the plunder the best of what was devoted to God, in order to sacrifice them to the Lord your God at Gilgal. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. Our devotional author says, As I delve into the Old Testament, I see so vividly one theme woven into the fabric of each and every spiritual journey. God just wants us to trust him. Obedience isn't a heavy thing. It's a holy thing. It's purely about alignment, not perfection, sacrifice, or achievement. In this season, I believe God is inviting you to hear his voice, to believe his promises. Yes, the ones that seem to be collecting dust. And to follow what he says and shows, not because he owns us, but because he loves us. We're not disobedient because we're bad. It's because in some way, our trust in God is broken. We prefer our way because it's familiar. To step into the future God has for you, your faith must align with God's footsteps. Obedience is more blessed, more powerful, and more necessary than sacrifice. All throughout the Old Testament scripture, God was looking for obedience. And when we got off that track is when bad things happened to us. Not necessarily because God made everything happen to us, but because we no longer trusted in the one that we should put our trust in. What we were trusting in was ourselves. I don't know about you, but in my lifetime, I have certainly put my trust in myself more frequently probably than I have in God. And it's only when I step back and recognize what I have done and put my trust and faith in God that things seem to work out better in my life. It's amazing how we can read the scriptures and see the stories and understand that it's because people didn't trust God and didn't trust the vision that he had, which he knew the outcomes of. And then we sit and criticize them and say, I just can't believe they did that. And yet we turn around and do the same thing ourselves. It's a new year. It is a time for a revitalization and a refreshing of our faith and our understanding of who God is and our relationship with God. So I encourage you as we begin our journey again on my porch or inside as it's really snowy and cold outside today, to put your trust, to put your faith in God, to understand that the outcome that he has planned is best for your life. And even in those moments when it just looks like it's something crazy that God has called you to, know that God has called you to it for a purpose. Brothers and sisters, I love you and I pray you have a beautiful and a blessed day. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.